Hello and welcome to a quick follow-up video on my previous tutorial on shapes. Today we're going to have a look at creating an occlusion mat or a negative shape mat. So an occlusion mat is really useful because it allows you to draw an additional shape to negate a section of the mat. So for example here, say I want to add a sunset gradient starting from the hills here and fading up towards the sky. How I might approach that is I'll add a grade layer and I'm going to go ahead and add quite a strong video grade. Okay, so I want the gradient to start here and fade upwards. So I'm going to go ahead and add a shape layer with S. And I'm going to go ahead and add a quick shape, edge bottom. Okay, so you can see here now I've got a gradient shape. If I hit the overlay toggle O on my keyboard, and if I wanted to change my overlay, it's shift O. But I'll leave it on the layer mat overlay. I'm going to line up my gradient and extend my gradient. To about there and turn off the overlay with O. And now you can see I've got my gradient where I want it, but you can also see I've got a lot of contamination in the bottom half of my image. I just want it to be constrained to the top left hand corner of my image. So turning my overlay on again, I'm just going to go up to my shape management sub panel and click on this new shape button. So I've still got my first shape layer selected. I'm going to go ahead and click new shape. And with my freehand curve mode enabled, I'm just going to zoom out my display. I'm just going to isolate everything in my image that isn't the window. Roughly mask off the window shape here. So what's happened here? So if we go up to the shape management sub panel, you see the operation. So we've got two shapes on this layer and the operation that we're using to blend them is union. Okay. So if we turn the overlay off, you can see now everything up here is the same shade of orange. What we want is if we turn overlay back on, and go ahead to the subtract operation. You can see that our second shape has negated all of the effect of the gradient within the shape. So the gradient used to be affecting the entire bottom of the image, fading up towards the top. But now it's confined just to the window. So as you can see, uh, we've got a pretty sharp shape here that doesn't look too flash. So what we're going to do, we're going to go up to our shape and we're going to add some feathering. Okay. So you can see, turning the overlay on see what we're doing here. So now we've got something to work with. I might adjust the top of my freehand shape just to make sure that the fade off is nice and natural. I might go ahead and move this down a little bit as well. Okay, and we might go down to our shape. So I'll toggle between my shape and my grade layer with the keyboard shortcut G. And I'm going to go ahead in the uh, blending tab and just uh, blend back some of my, my grade so it's not as extreme about 40% there. Um, I'm going to toggle the UI back to full screen with function F12. Okay, so um, if I bypass this layer with function command F11, so that's function command F11 to bypass, you can see that I've got a gradient here on my top left window that is negated by this freehand shape. So if we do one more example here, we'll go along to our next clip. So Say, for example, that I wanted to add a gradient from darkest to lightest in this image. So I'll add myself a shape layer, and I would create myself a gradient. As you can see, I love using a gradient with an occlusion mat. I think it's a really nice effect. And I'm going to drag out my gradient here. That's good. I'm going to go to my shape, turn the overlay off with O, and I'm just going to go into my video grade and uh, darken down the shadows a little bit. Okay, right. bring up my midtones a touch. Okay, so I'm going to bypass this with function command F11. Okay, so that's the change that we're adding. I'm going to go back up to my shape. I'm going to add a new shape with my freehand mode enabled. And I'm going to draw an outline, a rough outline, over my window shape. Okay, so if we go into the O key, you can see that at the moment this is um, in union with my current gradient. So I want to change that to subtract. And I'm going to go ahead and feather out my radius. I also might just go ahead and, uh, with the blue bounding box, just make my shape slightly smaller and increase my feather a little bit. Oh, I'll decrease it. Oh, about there. Okay, I'm going to turn my overlay off with the O key and hit the shape. So you can see already, if I bypass this with function command F11, you can already see that it's a really nice way of isolating a specific area of your mask. 
you can uh, go ahead and add an occlusion or negative mat. And that is the video. I hope that was helpful. Really short one for you today. You know the drill, guys. If you enjoyed this video, go check out my Patreon. But otherwise, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Cheers.